Hi there, I'm Mike from Greenway Electric. And I wanted to share with you today a really important screen on the LeafSpy app and tell you how to read it and how to understand it. And it's a screen that I use all the time. I think it's the most important screen in LeafSpy. And so let's take a look at that screen and I'll go in through in detail each aspect of the screen. So hopefully it will help you better understand it. And I've even got a couple questions for you as well. Okay, so I think this is the most important screen on LeafSpy. There's different views you can look at and there's different features and all that kind of stuff. But if I'm trying to understand the status or the health of a battery, this is the screen I'm looking at. This particular car is a 2015 Nissan Leaf S with a 24 kilowatt hour battery. And so I'm gonna go through each of these items here one by one and describe to you what it's telling us. Um, now, a lot of us probably originally hooked up Leaf Spy because you wanted to find out the health of the battery. And that's this measurement right here. That's the state of health. That is 77% on this particular car. So that means um, of its original capacity, it still maintains 77.18% of its original capacity. In other words, if you had a range of, for example, 100 miles or 100 kilometers, well, the range now is only 77 miles or kilometers, so 77% of the original. I think that's fairly well understood, that one, but it's also a very important one. Let me go back here. This is the, for the on the just on the screen here. I'll just talk about this briefly. Amp hours. That's an absolute measurement of capacity of the battery, and that's uh, rel related to your state of health. So seventy seven percent. So this amp hours of forty seven point nine three is seventy seven percent of its original capacity. So if you just do some math there, and you take that forty seven point nine three divided it by 0.7718 that'll tell you the original capacity as around somewhere I guess around 60 or something like that so that's a, a an absolute measurement of the total capacity of the battery this is a measure of its health compared to new and the next one here HX there's lots of discussion about what HX is I've heard it described as uh, conductivity uh, I've heard it described as uh, you know how well the battery can you know give uh, a out its electrons um, and I'll have a whole separate video talking about HX specifically because it's a very unique measurement and it is important um, although in some cases you won't notice HX whether it's having any impact on your car or not if you're not doing a lot of rapid acceleration or under extreme uh, conditions where it's super cold um, you'll probably never notice uh, if the HX decreases, it won't make a difference. Uh, but you will notice your, when, as your state of health decreases as the battery ages, that's going to affect your overall range of the car for each charge. Okay, but separate, separate video coming on the HX. Um, the next one here, just this is your total pack voltage, 382. So if you add up all the cells in your pack, that's what the voltage is currently. And in this one here, it says 2.35 amps. That's the uh, number of amps that are being drawn out of the battery right now. Um, so if you wanted to see how many uh, watts are being pulled out, just take that 382, multiply by this number here, and that'll give you the number of watts uh, in case you're curious. And then you've got your serial number of your car, your odometer on your car. Um, and uh, it's just, it'll show you in whatever unit you have it programmed on your car. Um, then you've got QCs or quick charges or level three charges. So this is the number of times that your car has been DC fast charged or level three charged during its lifetime, 737 times for this particular one. Um, so they, I've heard that, you know, too much DC fast charging can be bad for your car's health. So, um, depending on the vehicle and depending on your climate and depending on this, the status of your battery, that may or be more true or less true. But in any case, this particular car has been hooked up 737 times to the, to the level three fast charging station. And then the next one here, this 3,284 number. That is um, the number of times that, that says L1 or L2. L1, the, it's short for level one charging or 120 volt charging in North America. Level two is 240 volt charging. So it's had 3,824 times it's been hooked up to 
the uh, AC charging station and plugged in and recharged. And for a car of this age, 10 years old, uh, with this you know distance, that's not an unusual number of uh, charges. So that's how to read all the top part here. Now in the middle, we've got this giant graph and we've got these red and blue bars. And then there's this large number on the side here that keeps bouncing around as we're talking. 22, it was 15 a minute ago, now it's 20, 13, it's always bouncing around. That's because the car is on, the uh, battery is alive and active, and this is a live feed of the battery status currently. And what it's doing is, that number is a measure, well first of all this graph contains a report or a, a chart of every cell in the battery it's taking an individual measurement of the voltage of each of those cells and uh, on the bottom side here right down here it's showing the minimum average and maximum so the minimum cell voltage is, is this number 3.979 the average is this 3.990 and then the maximum is 3.4.000 so if you take that 4.000 subtract 3.982 you'll get this number up here and that's in millivolts, so so that's 0 0.021 volts. All right, yeah, so that, that sort of makes sense. So we're, we're at 4.000 minus 981. It's yeah, pretty pretty close. So we're right right there at that number. Um, then also, just while I'm down here, this is the temperature. There's three temperature monitors in the battery. This is the temperature currently in, in Celsius. You may, you, yours may show in Fahrenheit, depending on how you have your car set up. But the lowest battery temperature is 12.9. Uh, the uh, average is this, and the, well, I guess this is the minimum. It must be minimum, average, max. No, oh no, no, sorry. There's just three monitors. Those are the three readings of the three temperature uh, uh, readings in this battery. Okay, so why is there this big graph in the middle? So this graph shows each cell voltage, and you can see we're on a 250 millivolt scale here. Actually, we can change that to a lower 200 millivolt scale, 150. So the the graph gets a bit newer, more meaningful when we're changing the scale down a little bit. But in any case, um, the uh, the color simply means what's going on with the battery management system. The red cells are have a shunt on it which means it there is a slow amount a small amount of power being drained from that particular cell to balance it out with the rest of the cells in the pack blue cells do not have a shunt turned on so it's a it's a matter of battery balancing and um if you uh drive or if you check this at different times different cells are going to have uh, different colors on them uh, I so while that's interesting I think the most important thing about uh, figuring out if your pack is balanced and it's important to have a balanced pack where all the cells are pretty close to being the same it is still this number right here this uh, 21 or 23 um, you know you want that number to be as low as possible 18 you know these are all fairly good numbers though so this pack is quite well balanced when it's sitting here idling at that that number so um all right so let's keep going through the rest of the, the screen here just a couple more things so on the bottom here this is showing your um 12 volt battery voltage so um in the, the car you have the uh, main drive pack that's the large battery so that that's going to be this this uh, voltage up here that's the total pack voltage of the large pack that's the one that drives the wheels that's the one that drives the heater um, but this volt level down here this is your 12 volt pack uh, 12 volt battery uh, which is charged up by the big battery so you don't need to be charging the little battery and that is the 12 volt system which runs the lights and the radio and uh, all of those things your dashboard instrument cluster all those things that run on 12 volt uh, of course, you don't want to have 383 volts running through all about the car. And uh, so your you know radio and all that is all run by that 12 volt system. So it, when it's at this, so 12.96, so that just means, uh, you know, the battery is in a good uh, charge level and it's, it's fine. There's no issues there. And then the last item on this screen here, SOC, right in the bottom, the 
here, 64.9%. That is state of charge. So that is the charge level. So when your battery is full, it would be 100 or close to 100. When your battery is empty, it's going to be zero. It's basically like your gas gauge. So that number does relate to on your dash board. So right now it's basically 64, 65%. So if you look at the dashboard here, you know, this, these blue bars over here, uh, but around the 61, these ones here, that's showing me that right now I have, let's see, eight out of 12 bars left currently on my charge level. And I could change, I can just press this button here and change my cluster information. So the car is indicating I'm at 62% charge level. Leaf Spy says that we're at 65% charge level. You'll find that there's always a little, almost always a little bit of a difference. Um, you know, I think that this is the true uh, pack percentage, I think, on Leaf Spy. And the one on your dashboard is what the Nissan engineers want you to see. So as this goes down closer to zero, this number on the dashboard is going to get down to zero quicker and actually when you go below so about 5%, it's gonna just show dashes, it's not gonna show you a number anymore. And it just, I think, so that there's no surprises, you know, it'll warn you the battery level is low. And on this screen, you'll see the actual level of charge if you're trying, you're pushing it right to the limit. Um, that's what that number is. And then on the right-hand side here, this just turns green when you're connected to the car and uh, it'll be a different color if it's not connected to the car. So I think, again, so this is, I think, the most important screen on Leaf Spy. And I think this is what I use the most when I'm looking at information on vehicles um, and trying to learn the status of the battery and the health level. So uh, hopefully what I've showed you there was uh, valuable. Um, one thing I uh, don't totally know what it is, the Shunts 8421. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. If anyone knows, let me know. Um, and in any case, uh, I think that's all I wanted to show you on this screen for today. So hopefully that's been informative for you to get that little walkthrough of the Leaf Spy screen. This is all I know about that particular screen. For me, that's the most valuable, useful screen that I look at probably at least 90% of the time when I'm using Leaf Spy helps me understand about the battery, the state of health, and all those different aspects of the battery. Separate video, as I mentioned, I'll talk about HX and what that means. I think it's a measure of performance of the battery. But uh, hopefully this video was helpful to you. If you found it useful or informative, I'd appreciate it if you'd give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing for future videos. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.